2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be out here. If this event kicks off, our feature group consists of two players that appear to have entered into this fantastic rivalry. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am playing... Well, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. The second, a short par four, one that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot. But a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their second. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, well done. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Let's return to live play now. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is their look at birdie. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently a couple under for the event. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. There are so many stunning holes on this entire property, but there's few more picturesque than this downhill par three third. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful, can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way, when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it, never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. A birdie putt awaits. Now that's how you roll the rock. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Well, as we head into our finishing stretch, it starts with the par 4 14th. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. 
This one's going right at the pin here. Magical shot. And in definite range for Birdie. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course. Keeping ball in fairways critical. And that is illustrated also by the par 4 fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Sitting at minus four. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order. But after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. Ooh. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Second shot here on the fifth. Wow, from a dodgy lie reach. How special was that? And that'll promote a good move up the standings. We have a par five on this one. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Nicely done. Now, four under par. going with the hybrid oh that's a great approach shot this putt right on 12 feet to the hole sinking this putt will help them pull in front of Tony Finau let's see if this will add some heat to the rivalry like the look of this one 
That's inside the range. And that will move him to six under par. The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning of the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, this has been a ball striking clinic. Another green in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. This punt to get to seven under the card. Go on, get in the hole. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Big chance here. That's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. Yeah, that is not what you want to come up against mid-round, mid-rivalry. That was mean. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, what a stroke. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. The par 5 ninth is a monster over 600 yards, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. I think the challenging part about it, Luke, is it's just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Playing their fifth shot. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? What an opportunity to make a birdie. Currently nine under for the round. As we head to the back nine here at Torrey Pine Southridge, the 10th isn't a long hole, but the slope off the tee makes it a, a difficult one. It is. It cambers pretty good from left to right, so most players are going to take something less than driver, probably a three-wood or a five-wood, and try and hit a draw into that bank to slow the golf ball down. You find the fairway, 
The green sits slightly above you, but the difficult part about it is it's got three different sections, a front, a back left, and a back right. You gotta get your second shot spot on to have the best opportunity for birdie. Well, I'm playing this one from around 120 yards out. That could play. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Looking great now. Oh, what an eagle. Great putt. And that will take him to seven under. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And that's eight birdies today. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Surely it's going to. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Sitting at minus 11 overall. We head to the 12th hole. This par four is as big and as strong and as tough as you find anywhere on the PGA Tour. This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful out of the sand. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Wow, that drive, incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Ah. Outstanding approach shot. Chance to move up into the top 20 on the leaderboard. A good putt to make here. It's tracking. Beautiful shot. Currently 12 under for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. All right, Rich. The par 5 13th. So much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. And here we are with the third shot.
Nice recovery there. Love watching this player around the greens. Currently 13 under for the day. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot here on the 14th hole. <laughs> Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, I thought that one was going in. Beauty of a chip shot there. Such soft hands. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. You like that, didn't you? Playing this shot from about 180 yards. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. He'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. Tracking well. Oh, how about that one? And what a way to jump into the top ten. He finds himself currently tied for none. Sixteenth, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to the screen the front the back right and the top left if you find the right section job well done if you don't it's going to be a difficult two putt to say the least there's part of about six feet coming up what a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie and there it is He's currently tied for eighth. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The penultimate hole at Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. 
They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? This is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the nine iron, I think. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. That was a beauty, right against the hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? Let's get back to it, shall we? A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. And that will drop in for a birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Now five strokes behind. And the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front. It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Playing from around 230 yards. Five shots off the lead. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Looking really good, this one. Around now in the books. Good luck. 